Okay, today's Sunday, whatever. Uh, and I picked this jewel up. Well, a gentleman lives really close to us. I, I've seen him around. He, dro he dropped off this morning. I, went, I told him I had to see it work first. It's an old air compressor, but I wanted it mostly for the motor. But it does work. This thing goes roll, 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 everything else, but that is pretty cool, that old air compressor. I'll, I'll put a new uh, compressor on it, but other than that, it's in good condition. Just old. I mean, roll. It actually had uh, that old uh, can, soup can, whatever, bolted there. Trying to get the air back out. I, I started up, it went up past 40. It had about I don't know how the gauge work on this. Can't tell if that's off. Uh... Alright, so it had at least 60 PSI because the next one up is 80. But what I'm doing, working on it right now, I got this. Got a whole bunch of this stuff. I saved this though. This has got a uh, pop off valve, and this, this tank don't have one. And then I also got this. These are both 110. Smaller. This one right here. I can take the pop off valve off of it and use it. I just like working on things and for the price of it. And I got regulators. and Just got to get that. Most of that air out, which we're doing right now. So, I'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, I got it all apart. Uh, let's take off the uh, air switch or whatever you want to call it. It snapped right off. Uh, don't even know where I just put the other piece. Well, here's part of it. It had a, it was so old school, it actually had a, a shutoff valve down on the bottom. Uh, it was just here, and I probably picked it up and moved it. And it's the way my memory is now. Had a heck, well, anyway, there it is. Had a heck time getting this off. I had to heat it up and finally got it off. All it is is a uh, T or yeah, like a T, but it's got a couple fittings on it. So we're gonna end up putting on. I'm gonna try to put this one on. I got that's why I said I got the other one, but I, I like to put this one on, and I know what thread it is. I know it's this thread. It's got to be adapted to this thread. It's an MP, MPT. Probably three quarter. On the outside. I'm just guessing. Down to a, probably a. Half inch or something. Uh, let's check. Let's see what we got here. First one I grabbed. Three quarter. Yeah, so. Not really a. I'm pretty sure it's a three quarter, but it's not reading three quarter. Uh, jump up. This seven eighths. Seven eighths got a little bit of play, so it could be a seven eighth. Yeah, I believe it's it's uh, seven eighths on the outside. The inner diameter is probably three quarter. So we got. I gotta get adapter to that. Adapt that to that. 
Now this has a release valve, but that shouldn't hurt anything because it don't have one on the tank. So, well, that's gonna go there. And I had a couple pieces here I was gonna use in this, but my threads are stuck, so. I got fair some way. I don't have any other ones. I got fair some way to tighten this up, but to get it out of here, because you can't grab, you cannot grab this with uh, pliers or anything. You'll screw in threads all up. But it's in there so tight that I can't take it out with my fingers. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, I got the parts. I uh, bought another one of these. I love these things. Walmart, they went up. They're 8 36 for a pack of them now. They were 7 something. Got, got these. These are for in here. But I couldn't find the quarter inch fittings, pipe fittings. But I did get the half, it's a half inch to quarter inch adapter so I can this is gonna go it's gonna set just like that I took the uh, pop off valve off uh, another piece and, everything. and I bought these because need push connectors to put it together so I actually took the pop off valve off of this one Just, I need uh, the one piece, and actually I need two, because I'm going to put this on there, so you don't have to carry the hose around, but the compressor does work, it, it went up to, it went up to like 60, that's what I said, just a little, I mostly want, like I said, one for the motor, That right there ain't even the right pulley for it. Bet you that's what's making the noise. Right here. So. I just noticed that. Yeah, you can see it, it's jumping. I knew I was hearing, I was hearing noise. That should have a key in it, right there, I think. Usually has a Carter key, or not a Carter key, uh, fitting in there they could turn that around backwards and it would have worked a lot better in the way they got it I'm gonna set set you down a second see if we can move it okay I got it off loosened it up all I had to do is put this thing on backwards that's what I was making all the noise putting it on backwards is gonna set it out a little bit but see I think of these things some pe a lot of people don't I, they I, and I know that I know this is still bent but I really don't care I'll put another compressor on that later on you can buy them. 
I might even paint this thing up. But, but, but let me see. Putting this on here. I don't know if I can do it now. I know it to go on there, but let's. I already had it on there once, but look. Let me see. Look how tight that is now. When you tighten it up, it'd be fine. So let me put it down. Get your get belt back on there. All right, the belt's back on. Just got a minute. And I'm leading it loose. I think it's got to come in a little bit. Alright, there it is. And by putting this out here. You can tighten this up easier. There it goes. Ouch. Pinch on my finger, but. So, signed up, and look how far it's sticking out. It ain't rubbing on the. anymore, and it's pretty straight, so. Alright, if you like part one of, uh, Restoring old air compressor. Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Please subscribe and bye till later.